Hello YouTube, this is VGCrazy09, and we're back to Acid Simulator 2015. Uh, I mean, me for the Dark Descent. Uh, so, if I remember correctly, we left off in a prison. I just picked up some sort of mallet, or hammer, stone hammer apparently. Uh, and I'm completely off my rocker. But that's not it. Oh yeah, and something is kind of following me, I think. I'm not sure. That's locked. Oh, oh, okay. I really need to get a new mouse. I'm really sick of everything getting double clicked, and that's oil fuel, I think. Oil fuel? Oil fuel. Oh, good, the roaches are back. Maybe I'll just pass out and reset. That'd be good. Uh, what are you? Oh, you, you were a bucket with something in it. I need sanity. Is this? No, that's health. <sighs> oh god, everything is literally hard to control now. Oh, okay. Right, right. The reason I was hiding. There's a guy up there. At least there was. Which way did I come from? This way? Well, maybe. Alright. Oh, let's see what's in this room. Rats. Tinder box. Rocks. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm actually recovering sanity. That door is gone. That's a problem. Oh, I'm about to run out of it. There we go. That's a little. This is a light area, right? That door over there is locked. Is there still a monster up here? Did he walk off somewhere? Oh, somebody's not having a bad day. Well, I guess in some cases they wouldn't be having a bad day. Why is there a shadow down there? Eh, no problem. At least the complete unmovableness of the camera is gone. Also, I wish this place had more doors. What is this slime stuff? Something just happened. And I'm aware of... Oh, it's probably a bit of More laudanum. So I can get drunk and high at the same time if need be. Always a good thing. Okay, game, you can stop with the rat noises in my ear. It's not normal. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I'm seeing things. Yeah, it's gonna be. Oh shit, did I make a mistake? I believe I have made a mistake. I have. Um, crap. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Actually, maybe getting killed would be the best plan here. I mean, getting killed might reset my sanity. I don't really have any of that. This thing just standing out there. I forget how to. There we go. I'm supposed to get it out. Oh. oh. Nobody's up there. Maybe there was something to be on. Yeah. Okay. Bad controls are back. Also, he broke my door. Break. Where did he go? Gonna break this door too down? Oh. Wait. But mother, I don't want to leave without you. Hurry, child. You must go. Find Gabriel, the outrider, and tell him to alert the king's men. No, you come too. Please, we don't have time to make the hole any wider. But... Somebody's coming. Hurry. I'll cover the hole with the bed. Everything will be fine. I promise you. Oh. 
somebody escaped then. Obviously they were not holding just prisoners down here. Uh, and I'm gonna assume the other person did not make it. Oh! I can actually click that. Clenched her fist, shielding the woven pouch filled with sage and prayed. The man urged them to alight from the carriage and force them through the castle gates. Okay. Well, why? Why could I click that? Anything in you? No? Okay. It's my sanity back. Oh, good. Hands are shaking. There's a hole under the bed. For what that vision told me is true. But I want to see what's the other way. If anything. Let's reclose you. Oh, this is where locked key lock is very corroded and weak. What's in here? Path? No. Oh. Where is she? Where did she go? No. Oh tell. I'll never tell you. You're just making things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt, or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. Oh, uh, crap. So, was I... Alright, so apparently I was aware of what I was doing. So, um... Chipper. Why would I need a chipper? out there? No? Although, chipper and a hammer could be useful if I wanted to break from the other door. Where'd the monster go? Is the monster even real? Or is that just my delusional mind screwing with me from lack of sanity? Can I do this? Oh, I didn't even need the hammer. Okay. Cool. Works for me! Whispers, don't do that. Oh. All that just for some oil? How much oil do I have? Ah, oh, that was barely anything. Ah, I feel cheated. Ah. Ooh. Okay. Thanks for the ominous win. Open! There we go. Bed. No, it is a dull oh, prison, northern block. Too narrow to slip through. Good thing I have these. There we go. Okay, which way am I facing? Alright, that's where I came from, I suppose. I have a pretty good amount of fuel, so that's not bad. Uh, two paths. Two paths. Uh, right is right. Always right, right? Right. What was left? Is the dead end? I'm curious now, let's go check out. Okay, left was just a dead end. Oh, that out then. Alright, let's continue. Review. I probably should do this as quietly as possible, given the monster's probably gonna uh, be in here or something, given this is a prison. Come on, Rock. Get a little 
All right. Oh, well, it's well lit. It's I'm not sure if that's a good thing yet, but it is. Also, I've regained a lot of my sanity. There's a pathway that way, and there's a gate here. Gate is locked. Padlock is in excellent condition. In other words, no. Won't budge. What's this Callan kitchen? Oh boy, kitchen or what's my other option? Storage. Sorry, kitchen, storage really has good things. Let's see here. Probably shouldn't run. I hear doors closing, I don't like it. No? Okay. Giant rocks. Oh, I trip out. Oh, it's daytime apparently. Uh, cell area three. Great. Storage. Uh, I'm gonna light this one. There we go. A little light, you know? Storage. No. Okay, I'm no longer liking my decision to come down. Okay, we're gonna hide. Okay, so there's something down here that will kill me. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. What? Um, run me by that what? 2nd of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Sooner we'll be ready. Let there be enough time. Enough time for what? Uh, yo. No? Okay. Where is he now? Goodbye. That's a big help in the no. On second thought, running to the lit room probably wasn't my smartest idea. We're just gonna do that. Uh, oh, okay. Um, can, I, can I move you? Oh, you're a natural chest. Awesome. Cool. Not that it helps me much in this situation. Oh, this is actually a dark spot. Okay. Okay, okay. Anything else I can see that might be useful in this room? Um, all my doors not being knocked upon. Move real quietly, I should be able to grab things. Okay, what do I need to drill a glass jar for? Okay, let's hop up and down like an idiot. Is anything even there? No? no? Okay. He escaped, huh? So is he referring to us? Oh crap. Padlock's in excellent condition. Well, I'm glad I didn't run that way. Wait, can I actually do something with this? No? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, 
Let's go. Maybe he didn't see me before. Are you kidding me? All that for some oil? Crap. In other words, storage was useless other than a glass jar. What's this way then? Lights. Lights is this way. What's over here? Is this where I came from? Yes, because that's the padlock. It's in very poor condition. Ooh, what did you just write down? Machine equipment. Oh, no. Wrong thing. Um, crap. I meant to say diary? No. Mementos. Gate leading out of this area is locked by a worn padlock. Padlock won't break, it needs to be weakened further. His pounding hands are shaking. Okay, why would I need to go to the kitchen to get stuff to wear it down? Why are the roaches back? I have light. Also, why do I keep hearing chains? Oh, okay. Lights. Hey! Anybody! Help! Nope. Christ. I don't believe this. Why? I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? I don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. What? Oh, so you're probably an actual murderer and you got thrown in here. I don't feel sorry for you then. I hope you suffered, in fact, if you did end up killing somebody. Okay, I'm seeing things. What's in here? Oh, well, oh, glad to see the dead bodies are showing up finally. Yo, bro. I can take that, okay? I don't think I need it. Alright, um... Let's go. Uh, room number three, what do you have for me? It's like a page, cool. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well-versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Just in time for what, though? Alright, let's keep going. Ooh, let's not. Oh, crap. Did he see me? footsteps uh, why does that have to be so loud kitchen all right 
this or go now. Okay, that's blocked. Of course it's downstairs. Why why is the kitchen why? Storage, yep, I know. Okay. Alright, so this is where we started. Still not working? Yeah, you won't budge. I get it, I get the memo. Let's keep moving then. Oh good, this place is well lit. Oh, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done, but at a price. No, of course. Of course there's a price. There's always a price. Also, hello, rats. Who left oil next to the fire? What kind of genius I can click this. Ah! Why would the game let me touch the fire? <laughs> oh. Oh no. I'm quiet. Maybe you won't notice me. Maybe he just broke down the door because he's a jerk. Or he could start walking straight towards me. Go on. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. You're not loved. Not by me, at least. You gone? You leave? I'm gonna wait another minute. All right, so if what he said is true, then does that mean the shadow is currently trying to kill me? Why did he have to break the door? Freaking jerk. Poor pigs. Ow! Okay. Wound is... Well, that's what we have this for. I guess that's also what we have this for. Yes. It's full of acid. By a worn padlock. What did you just write down? I guess it was just telling me that I got what I needed. Alright, well, let's try and get back out of here then. So is she dead? It's who did? And would do no good? Really? Acid would do no good against a simple padlock. Dang, that must be one powerful padlock. I've greatly underestimated it. Probably crush my skull like a freaking toothpick. 
should probably stop running around when I know that the monsters are around here. I forget which way to go. Not that way, because that door is open. This way? There it is. Hello. Severely weakened. There we go. Oh, crap. Nope. Goodbye. We're going. Entrance to Sirston. I was just about to make a joke about not making any noise. What? The hell is this play? Oh, okay, more injury. So you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. Oh. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. So we're almost to the inner sanctum then? All right, well, this place, oh. Well, that looks very official. All right, well, in that case, I think I'm gonna end it off here. So, thank you guys so very much for watching. Have yourselves a nice day, evening, or afternoon. And remember, insanity is truly billis. Peace.